human immunodeficiency virus or HIV can cause AIDS but unless it's uh, treated with uh, the treatment. But the good news about this disease is that we do have a treatment which uh, works out just fine most of the time. But the problem with the treatment is that the patient have to take uh, multiple pills in a day, which has a huge side effect. And at the same time, the most of the drugs that we take, it doesn't reach to the organ where it needs to go or where virus hides most, uh, most of the time. So these organs, we call it as an HIV reservoir organ. And one of the reservoir organs that we are targeting here is uh, uh, GALT or gut-associated lymphoid tissue. And what we are trying to do here is that we are taking uh, the medicine which is already available in the market, we are formulating them in a such a way they are much smaller in size and much sustained in the biological environment. So this is all together, we call it as a nano drug. And after we make this nano drug, we always attach or bioconjugate this uh, nano drug in a specific antibody, which is called anti-GP2. Anti-GP2 antibody is specific for a microfold cells in gold. So what M cell does is that it translocate the immune nano drug or any molecule per se from uh, intestine to the immune cells of the gall. So it's a direct transfer of uh, nanoparticle, in this case the nano drug transfer from intestine to gall. So this will, be, this will be a lot different than when traditional medicine happens because in traditional way uh, the anti-HIV uh, medicine works, the patient takes this medicine orally, it goes to your metabolic system or it gets metabolized most of the times in your stomach and it excrete out of the system. Whereas what we are proposing, if this formulation goes in clinic, the patient will be given in an um, entry coated capsule, which they will take and which will survive the stomach digestion and directly go to the intestine. And once it goes or reaches to the intestine, it will release out the drug because of the pH difference. And once the drug is released out from the capsule, it will directly attach to the my, uh, microphone cells. And following that, the microfold cells will take up this drug and transfer it to the immune cells of the gall. This actually, what we have seen over the time in our work, this uh, direct transfer through microfold cells from intestine to gall actually gives a better control on HIV replication in gall than any traditional drug which is available in the market.